Morning, everybody. So we'll try that again. I think the, uh, the rubbish truck was coming along before, so I needed to pause. So I hope you've had a good morning, but more importantly, how was the bedtime routine last night? So I'm often, um, I'm often uh, speaking to parents who are explaining to me how difficult bedtime is. Now, when cortisol levels are quite high in the body, we've got the stress response hormones in the body constantly, this is not actually a surprise. Some, it's really difficult for children to self-regulate at night time. For some children, it can be a scary time. For some children, it's just a matter of it taking hours, which you know we don't have. So I wanted to give you some tips today in how we can begin bringing a sense of calm to the bedtime routine. Um, so if you're hopping on um, and you want to ask some questions about the bedtime routine, then ask your questions and I'll make sure that they get answered. So uh, the, best, the best tips that I have for you is that one, one simple strategy is to co-regulate. Okay, that's the most important strategy of all. So if you, um, if you have your back to your child's back, and you need to just breathe, okay? So you need to sit there for a while and if you need to turn it into a game, then do so. So it could be a case of asking your child to count how many times mummy or daddy is breathing. Can you feel my back going up and down? So have it really sensory, have it as, as much of them focusing on you as possible. And you'll find by the end, after a few minutes, they'll actually be breathing at the same rate as you. So a good opportunity for you to understand how you're breathing as well. Um, another really great way to begin bringing your child down is to do a simple little yoga routine. So you want to be standing, okay, because quite often they're still energized. So you want to stand and you want to lift your hands in the high, big breath in, and then a big release on the way down. So they're coming down, um, bending over to touch their toes, and they're just breathing it all out, okay, with a big breath. So it's called the hub breath. So do as many of those as you can get out, release everything. And then you could do some with the shoulders too. So bringing the shoulders to your ears, so breathe in and then release on the way down. So we're really trying to get all of the excess energy out. And then what you wanna try and do, you could get them into child's pose for a few breaths, okay? We wanna start bringing them down to the ground, get them grounded and then have them, have them lie down and do a tense and release exercise. So they're lying on their backs and you want to explain to them that every body part that you mentioned, they're to tense up really tight. So as tight as they can with their muscles. So you want to start off with the head, then you want to go to the neck and the shoulders and then work your way down to your toes, doing tense and then release. So explain it to them like it's jelly, all right? They need to have a visual. How am I meant to feel when it's relaxed? And then you wanna do the whole body at the end. So they're tensing every single muscle as tight as they can, and then release everything. Now, if you still need to do more relaxation, have a feather handy, okay? Then you wanna do some breathing exercises with your feather. So really blowing the feather away. And then you want to touch the feather all over the body. So guide the feather all over your child's body. And you want to have it that it's a magical feather and that every body part it touches, it feels calm. And you might even want to say, I am calm throughout the whole exercise as well. So these are my top tips to try and help begin bringing your child down at bedtime. Now, if you have any questions about that or you need extra ideas or you want to have a further discussion about the particular issues of your child at bedtime, then private message me because I am here to help. Message me, we can discuss your child's needs at bedtime and see if there are some other, there will be other ideas. So we can discuss more ideas about your child. So, and let us know how you go with these two or if you have different ideas. Uh, we all learn from each other. It's really important to share what you've been trying and what's working. So let me know how you go. I hope these have been helpful. And tomorrow I'll be checking with you all again and I'll be discussing another really important topic that I often get asked about the parents. So I will see you all then. So private message me if you need further help. Have a really wonderful day, everybody. Enjoy the sunshine.